Alright, so for contouring, I'm actually going to be using uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Dark. Um, and it's a little more golden than Medium Deep um, or Medium Dark. I use the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Medium for my actual foundation powder. But I like using the darker shades as my um, bronzer and contour colors. Because I find that there's so many different shades that you can go with a natural looking contour. And just a very light bronzer. Just to add a little bit of color to your face. If you use an actual bronzer, um, for example, like the golden or refined golden um, bronzers that MAC has, um, they only have a, a couple different shades. So with these, you could actually choose um, how dark you want your bronzer to go. I like these better um, because they don't have the sparkle to them. They just look a lot more natural anyway. Um, so I'm going to take this with a 109. And I like using this because it has a flat top. And it's perfectly shaped to fit underneath your cheekbone. And applies just the right amount of color. I like starting in the actual hairline where my sideburn is and then blending it down into my cheek. And that way it's just going to look more natural when it's coming from your hairline rather than starting in the center over here. It's just going to create that natural shadow and make your cheekbones stand out a lot more. You can apply more, but when you do apply a little more, start again at the hairline and blend it in. I'm also going to take this color and blend it up into my temple area so I don't have um, a dark spot right here and nowhere else. So you basically want to apply this wherever um, you'd normally find a shadow if the light is hitting you a certain way. So in this case, it would probably be either um, from below or above. Um, you'll always find a shadow wherever your face kind of recedes a little bit. So the hollows of your cheeks would be one, the temples as well. You can actually take this contour and um, bring it down the center of your nose just to define that line a little bit. And if you want to make your nose look a little bit thinner. But I normally just apply my contour on my cheeks and on my temples. So once again, start at the hairline and then blend it down into your cheek. And you want to stop right about halfway. And then with whatever's left, just blend it in around the apple of your cheek. And it helps to kind of look down into the mirror so you can see where the hollows of your cheeks are. So once again, I'm just applying this in my temple area and making sure that it connects all the way down as well. And it doesn't just pick up right here. So once you have your face contoured, the next step is to apply blush, and I'm using Melba, which is a dark peach, um, kind of like a peach coral color, and I actually use this in my crease as well um, in my eyeshadow video, just to warm up the look a little bit. I'm applying um, this blush with a 129 brush, so if it helps to smile, just to bring out your cheekbones a little bit, you can go ahead and do that. Just make sure you don't go past this area right here or this area right here. You want to keep the blush right at the apples and blend it back into your hairline. And this is kind of um, the opposite of what you do as a, with a contour. Um, basically for a contour, you want the most color to be at the edges by your hairline and fade downward. But with blush, you want the most color to be on your actual cheeks and blend it back into the hairline. Okay, you can keep building the color. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm just blending it around my temple. So once again, smile and apply the most blush right in this area. And then blend it into the contour. What I like to do afterwards, just to further blend the blush, um, I like to go back with my Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Medium with the paddle brush and just dust over it. And this is also going to help mute the color if you applied a little bit too much. I just like the way it helps blend the actual contour and blush into my skin. All right, and now I'm going to be using a beauty powder called Shell Pearl. I believe this came out with the Liberty of London collection. It just has different packaging. I'm taking that with the same 109 brush that I used with my contour. Just applying it right on the tops of my cheekbones. And at the top of the center of my cheek as well. 
and it's just going to create a little bit of a highlight. And that's just your basic contouring and highlighting techniques. Um, if you have any questions, like what products are my favorite to use with what look um, to contour and highlight, just let me know. Send me a message or leave me a comment below. And thanks for watching.